Hello YouTube, just a video on how to get um, Chromium OS, the latest version. First of all, you want to go to this website. Oh, it's a bit laggy. I'm recording. Anyway, you want to go to this site, website, ChromeOS, Axelab.net, whatever his name is. Pick your build, line build, and you want to pick your operating system, Linux, whatever. You download the Windows one. I don't know about these ones. But for the Windows one, you know, WinZip, I mean 7-Zip, uh, WinRAR to extract the image file. And then you need to get the image writer, which when you click this link, it'll take you to this thing. You want to go click the binary. You don't want to click the source because it's a source. You want to click the binary. And then, after you've got all those, extracted it to USB with the image writer then you will be able to get into this the virtual box have to download virtual box of course after you download virtual box is quite easy you just search for the program like twice or something something hard anyway this is my review right now on the Chrome os it gets my cursor i made it so it sticks my cursor in the program because as i loaded it up and um, my it's not integrated basically See all these messages right now the cursor is woo out see i'm launching the program at the moment it's really annoying to get out as you can see cursor is horrible so i don't think it's working at the moment so i am going to exit the machine tab 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 shut down enter you shut me out of the program <coughs> uh, my mouse right now is the Razer Naga, so to change it, we'll have to go through to adapt to USB. Right in, in there, Razer Naga, get rid of that, I forgot what that's called, I don't know what it is. If you select your mouse, it should be around here somewhere, if I click in plus, it should be here. In, in fine. Anyway, okay. Should integrate, start, switch. Okay, <coughs> and now we just wait until we we'll get stuck in the program, and you have to turn off and all that stuff. Starting at the moment, as you can see, my cursor can't get out. Free me, free me. Anyway, I thought I'm going to log into my email. Um, yeah. I'll log into my email. I can't really get all my stuff. It's very, it feels very buggy at the moment. It feels buggy even though I have a really good computer. Maybe I should give it some more memory or something. Anyway, you can maximize it. Oh, wait, I should maximize this. Oh, I can't maximize it anyway. Either way. So you can maximize and minimize it. Seems pretty good. Uh, let's unminimize it. Bring it to the side. That's pretty good. Size it. Mm, it's okay. Got an email. Google Drive. Google search. Yeah, that's pretty good. I believe that's the current tab. YouTube. That's pretty cool. Apps. The apps are slightly different. I think the apps is what you've actually installed on your program. And I'm not quite sure you can play Flash in this. So these are the, my apps installed, by the way. All that cool stuff. A new tab. Yeah, it just has a new tab. That's pretty okay. Um, let's go to apps. Go to files, and I think it was just, just let's um, use your downloads and your Google Drive. It's kind of a bit confusing. So yeah, we've got those are got school stuff and all that. Now I'm in here. I think I just ah oh, interesting. That's okay. It's not like I said they'll have those big apps and stuff. It just comes in like this little thing 
which I think is better. So yeah, I can open this. I'll blurt out my email because, yeah, no, just no. Anyway, you have the settings, open the settings, and you can do a whole bunch of stuff. And yeah, you can change the account, go to advanced settings, change the time, privacy, and that's pretty much all. It's kind of boring actually. I would I would recommend this for just a USB boot up drive or just a VMware like I'm in currently right now. And just because um kind of useless actually. I can then use the internet. I can set wallpaper. And it's really hard to pick my wallpaper too. And it's kind of slow. My Google Chrome is faster than my computer. But I believe this might be because of the stuff I let it have. So let's just turn the wallpaper, change it daily, click OK. See it already changes. That's all right. Can't select anything. But right click just opens up. And by the way, I did load this operating system onto my onto my little laptop that I have, and it's really annoying. It's not a double tap as it says in the settings that it's already enabled. It's already disabled on on the laptop that you, that you load it on. I live mine off an Asus Fire 1, small laptop with 1 gig of RAM, and it's really annoying because I couldn't double tap. Mostly enabled for desktop, I think this one is. So as you can see, that's that's what that's what it all does. So let's find out how to shut the program down. Um, we click the shutdown button, and everything's done. That was quick. Brings my cursor back. And I hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial on how to get the stuff installed in your VirtualBox and your, I mean not VirtualBox, yeah VirtualBox, and install it on the USB drive. We'll reformat it and all that stuff. You can always unformat it. Anyway, it's an alright OS, but I think it's more of a USB boot kind of thing. But definitely not a main OS. Just because you can't do much on it, it looks like. And it has a desktop, but what's the point of the desktop when you can't put any icons on it? Confusion. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe, share this video, and peace.